Hello, Edwina Murphy Dreamer from Eudaimonia here, and today I'm up to question four. Today's question is: I could really use a list of bad ingredients in food and why we should avoid them. Some that have been listed are um, xanthan gums, natural flavorings, carrageenans, sulfites, nitrites, and citric acid. There's also been lots of questions about GMOs and genetically modified, which are genetically modified foods and enriched products. Okay, this is quite a big question, so I'm going to cover it um, using a philosophy. So let me let me start first with the idea that what we want to do is use, you know, using the philosophy of vitalism, we think about food that is produced by nature that speaks to the intelligence of our bodies that our bodies actually recognize and they are the foods that don't require labels have no added um, flavors colors preservatives emulsifiers and so on and so on so that is the first um, rule of thumb that i use to help me make decisions about which foods to um, choose and which ones to simply ignore. Natural flavoring is something that's put on all sorts of labels and it's quite deceptive because it is made in a factory just as artificial flavorings are. One, you know, natural flavorings are no healthier than artificial flavorings. So that's a good one to ignore. Um, nitrates or um, sodium nitrate or nitrite is um, a preservative and coloring that's used to extend the shelf life of food such as hot dogs, ham, lunch meat, smoked fish, corned beef and etc. So um, there are many studies that have linked this particular product to cancer and I invite you to you know go and do some further research on that. I don't have any trouble buying my bacon with no nitrates added, but you do have to um, pay a little bit more for it and work out where you can source that from. Emulsifiers are, um, so carrageenans and xanthan gums are emulsifiers and they are additives. Um, so an emulsifier is something that stops fats and oils from separating. It, so it is used in processed foods to increase the shelf life of products. So they are detergent-like food additives found in many processed foods and have been found to have the potential to damage the intestinal barrier, leading to inflammation and increasing our risk of chronic disease. So when we think about the internal barrier of the gut, we are thinking about things like leaky gut, and this is the first steps to developing autoimmune diseases. So certainly something that you want to take pretty seriously. Citric acid. Um, citric acid is something that is naturally found in citrus. And you know, we talk about having a um, lemon juice in warm water in the morning is fantastic for starting the digestive process. And it also helps significantly in flushing toxins from the colon. However, when they whip um, citric acid out and separate it from its natural source, being to eat, uh, you know, to have the whole lemon or without the skin, but um, orange and so on, you, you um, get the message. But it's, you know, once we separate it from its natural source, it then goes into things like soft drink where it plays a role in softening the enamel in our teeth leaving them vulnerable to cavities and so on. So another one that is listed here is gen genetically modified food or GMOs. And I have written an article on this, which I will put a link to that will provide you with a whole lo lot more information. But essentially GMOs is a form of um, genetically modified organisms or um, GE, genetically engineering. Food is a form of biotechnology where science, scientists are able to take the genes from two different species and create something that nature normally, um, wouldn't normally occur in nature. So for instance, they have taken the um, genes from spiders and put them into goats in the hope that goat's milk can be used for making bulletproof vests. 
things like this quite odd and probably a little disturbing certainly to me and possibly to many of you so they've applied this same technology to our foods now and there are many genetically modified foods so there are two types there is one that is um called Roundup Ready or they can spray pesticides all over it and it won't kill the crop um, predominantly with wheat, corn and soy. So um, my thoughts is why on earth would you want to eat something that has had a neurotoxin sprayed all over it? Um, I would choose not to um, be part of this particular experiment and I certainly hope that you feel the same way. The other form of genetically engineered um, crop is one where the pesticide is incorporated into the plant. So when the bugs eat it, it causes their cells to explode. Once again, apparently it has no effect on humans, but I think without question that um, this is going to prove to be something that we've unleashed on the environment that is going to cause an enormous problem. Um, so there will be a whole lot more information on that and I strongly encourage you to become educated and to make wise decisions for yourselves and for your families. Okay, so I will pop that link below for you to access. Please leave your comments, your thoughts. I would love to hear from you and that's it from me today. Okay, bye for now.